Hey, best friends. Now, you guys, we're going to do a mini mukbang talk series. So, basically, just me catch you guys up with, like, everything that's been going on as well as eating. I was supposed to have a pizza, um, a veggie pizza, no cheese. But the way Little Caesar is by my home, they are so bad. Literally, let me tell you what they did. I ordered in and I, I told the person when I called and I said, no cheese. I told them twice. I said, you guys have a history of doing this. You guys put cheese on my stuff when I say no cheese. He was like, there's not going to be any cheese. I got there. Check before I left. Cheese. So that kind of sucks because, you know, I had I wanted to eat this big pizza. So they settled and gave me crazy bread. I do like crazy bread with some marinara sauce. The good thing about it is that I didn't pay for this. So it was like on the house. So save coins and also got a little tasty tasty. So let me show y'all. Well, it's just literally crazy bread. So I want to talk about why I did not accept the job offer. Now, I wanted to go into more detail because I've been seeing people comment. Mm, good. People been saying, Crystal, take the job, just travel far. Some people are saying, that's a, that's a road trip, sis. I understand. It is. But, don't get me wrong, the job, it was a really good job. It was a good job because they had really good benefits. So they they matched you on your 401k. Now I don't know the specifics on 401k, but I know matching means that, so let's say if you make 1500 every two weeks, you say, Okay, I'm gonna put five hundred dollars into my five hundred one k five four zero one k. That company they were matching a hundred percent, meaning that if I was to put five hundred, they would match five hundred too, and that's really good because where I work, talking to people where I work right now, they match um, eighty percent. So this place was matching a hundred percent. That's really good. That's really good. So, also, they had good insurance rates. It wasn't too high for a single person. I'm 23, so I only have three more years to be on my mom's um, plan. So, it was really good rates. What else? Um, they had the same insurance as my mom, so I didn't have to, like, do anything extra with, like, trying to find different, like, insurance and places. Because, you know, different doctor's office and dentists and eye places, they don't accept some insurances. So, it was the same Blue Cross Blue Shield. They offered me $41,000 um, with their first offer. So, that would be $41,000 a year. The only reason why I can't, the only reason why I didn't accept the job, now let's get into why I didn't accept it, is because of the distance. And I wanted to tell you guys all the benefits because it was really a good opportunity, a good job. When I say perfect for what I want to do, great to get experience in that place. Um, also, the, the main, I forgot to say, the main reason why it was good is because they um did tuition reimbursement meaning that they would pay for you to go to school now you guys are probably like crystal are you insane what's wrong with you what's wrong with you sis i'm not trying to go back to school i'm really not i'm really not but that is like a plan c option there's nothing wrong with going back to school, but for me and where I'm trying to go in life, I don't think school is necessary for what I'm trying to do. But that's a good opportunity, sis. It's a good opportunity. But the reason why I didn't accept it was because of the distance. It was really far. Um, I would be commuting four hours a day. 
and I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. YouTube, my um, millennial influence, interviewing people, editing, and four hours is a lot. And it may be like, oh my God, it's not that bad at first. But four hours is a lot. A lot of people were saying, well, move, move. I am planning on moving, but I wanted to save up some more money before I move because I'm going to give you a tip. Well, a little thing about me. I'm not trying to move into an apartment. I'm not going to say what I'm trying to buy, but I'm not trying to be renting, okay? So I wanted to save a little bit more. Or at least save like three or four big checks before I make that big purchase. So I really needed to save a little bit more. That's why I didn't want to do it. Now you guys are probably thinking like, Crystal, wow, that was a good job. Like, are you sure you can get a job that is better or at least the same thing as that? I really do believe I can. That job was in the west suburbs. I live in the south suburbs, meaning I had to pass downtown. I had to pass the west. Like, I had to pass so many places to get to that job. And I believe for the role that I want, which is advising students, I believe there are jobs in downtown. I believe there are jobs that are closer to me that I could get more opportunities and get more time for myself. I truly believe that. So, yeah, that's why I didn't accept the job. The only reason was because how far I was. But other than that, that job was literally perfect. That job is literally perfect. Oh. I also wanted to tell you guys. I had two interviews. One interview was for a recruiting job. Another interview was for a sales job. I got, I got declined. For the sales job. Yep. I got declined. And I think... I may get a client for the recruiter job because I have the interview on Friday and then I'm on LinkedIn now so like I'm following people and just getting accustomed to things but I end up finding the person who interviewed me and on Tuesday the following week of my interview she made a status saying um, I'm looking for position I'm looking for people for this position send me your resume um, you know, we're, we're looking to hire. Doesn't that tell you something? If I interviewed on Friday, and there's still like... Broadcasting it on Tuesday? What does that tell you? I don't know. So... I have some leads in other places and other for other employers and that's where I am so currently what I'm doing right now I'm working at this temporary position as a payroll clerk it's a temporary position and I'm looking for full-time roles while I'm doing this this whole process is really depressing this whole process can get you sad get you down this process is not easy at all. I feel like when, when we're in college, we glamorize the the job scene or we glamorize looking for the job. It This is brutal. This is brutal. It's brutal. So I'm just, by God's grace, I just know that he's going to provide something for me that I really want and I really desire. And that's where I'm going with it. That's where I'm going with it. So, I could end my video right now, but I've been applying to different places. I have leads in different places. I'm trying to set up informational interviews for different places. So I'm doing stuff to find this position because I don't want it to be a time where I have a month without a job because I have a lot of saving goals that I'm trying to reach. I'm like saving 
huge amount for my paycheck and I would hate to not have a, a time where I'm working where those where that money stops so that's why I'm really trying to work hard to get a position so best friends I just wanted to fill you in on this um mukbang style blog I hope you guys you know kind of interest you give you per, a perspective on what I've been doing um yeah and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video bye best friends That was so ugly. That was so ugly. I'll see y'all later.